What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video we got a handful of things to talk about including early reveals for the Legends and Team Builder 2 cards that will be coming into Mutt 25 tomorrow morning about 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So let's start with the Team Builder cards that have been revealed so far. I was holding out on hope that EA would reveal all 32 of the 86 overall Team Builder cards because every team is going to get one and for the most part we kind of know who those players are going to be but I wanted to see the attributes on them because I would assume that when this content drops tomorrow there will be solo challenges that you can play through and hopefully earn a free 86 overall to add to your squad these are going to be really good cards that are going to build your theme teams they might not have the greatest attributes but we'll wait and see what those cards look like as far as the champions go they look absolutely cracked so let's go through them we're going to start with the 91 overall champion for the whole promo it's going to be DK Metcalf he will get all 32 team cams 90 speed which means you can get him up to 91 speed on a theme team 89 catch 87 catch in traffic 92 spec catch short route running 91 mid 90 and deep route running 89 without a doubt he is going to be the best wide receiver in the game easily over a million coins very curious to see if he pushes over 2 million or close to 2 million coins because this is going to be a high demand card. Now, in order to get this card, you're going to need to acquire all eight of the divisional champion cards, and those are going to be at an 89 OVR. So we got Anthony Richardson. We don't know what abilities these cards are going to get or what type of ability buckets, but if he gets a decent one like a Gunslinger or a Gift Wrap, he should have 88 speed quarterback with 90 throw power, 90 short throw, 87 mid, 86 deep. He hits that 85 plus threshold on the accuracies. Really good throw under pressure and play action as well. Also remember with these cards, they're gonna get the chemistry of the team that they represent in the first slot and they should also get all of the chemistries within their division in the second slot. So this Mike Hilton, for example, will get either double Bengals chem or he can get Bengals Ravens, Bengals Steelers, or Bengals Browns. So these cards are really going to present a good opportunity to build some of those hybrid theme teams like we talked about in the video earlier today. If you missed it, go check it out. So Mike Hilton, cornerback, 89 speed, 88 acceleration, 89 zone. 83 man coverage, 90 press, 87 jumping, 86 play rec. If you run a lot of zone coverage, you're probably going to want to go after this card. Next one up is Ivan Pace Jr. He is only 5 foot 11 for a middle linebacker. You obviously want height there, 6 foot even or taller. So I'm curious to see how this card plays, especially because he's going to get NFC North Chems and I rock a Lions Eagle seam team. So we can get him up to 90 speed at the middle linebacker position, 87 hit power, 85 zone, 88 tackle, 85 block shed, 81 play rec. I think I'm going to try him out despite him only being five foot eleven but I know that's going to be the biggest negative about this card Jadavion Clowney appears like he could be the best pass rusher in the game just a huge combination of speed and strength 87 speed again can go up to 88 on a theme team you got 88 acceleration 88 strength 88 tackle 86 block shed only 79 finesse move but 90 power move definitely the highest in the game for any outside linebacker so that's going to be a high in demand item Austin Eckler kind of looks like the weakest of the eight divisional champion cards, mainly because we've just had an influx of running backs, including the free Chris Rodriguez Jr. from the Hispanic Heritage Month promo that can get up to 89 speed with the strategy item from that promo. This Eckler can get up to 88 speed again within the division. You can get him to 89 fairly easily, but I just feel like he's not really separating himself from a lot of the other running backs out there. You got Devin A. Chain with the 90 speed. Eckler also gives you 89 acceleration, 88 agility, 88 carry, 88 change of direction, 90 break tackles really high, 83 trucking, and 79 catch. The Chiefs theme team is already one of the best in the game, and now they get strong safety Justin Reed who usually always has really good cards and this one will fall in that category as well 89 speed with the potential to go up to 90 88 acceleration 88 tackle 89 zone coverage 86 man coverage 86 pursuit and 90 hit power looks like a linebacker or a safety you can play as a linebacker as a sub linebacker you can play him in coverage because of the really high zone and man and i think this card along with the kyle hamilton that's out there from the gridiron guardians basically we've got two really good strong safeties that came out in the last 48 hours or so uh that's going to definitely drop the price of cam curl jair brown so if you can't afford some of these cards take a look at the card in these same positions that came out a week or two ago they're going to drop in price big time david andrews we got a center and offensive lineman here 85 strength 89 awareness 89 pass block and 90 run block and the final divisional champion is going to be trey mcbride we've gotten a lot of tight ends lately as well here 88 speed on this card 
88 catching, 88 catching traffic, short route running, 89, mid 87. I wish they would have bumped up his run block to make him a little bit more enticing. Only 66 on the run block, but those are going to be all eight of your divisional team builder champions and the total champion in DK Metcalf. Now we will get to the legend reveals in a moment. Let's talk about what we can probably expect as far as completing the team builder set. So the DK Metcalf is the champion. And as we said, just like the Miles Garrett champion for team builders one, you're going to need all eight of those conference, or I'm sorry, divisional champion cards. So 889 OVRs. And the bad thing about it is that last time around, you didn't get anything back in return. None of these cards came Came back as BND. So that's just going to make that set so expensive to do. And you're going to miss out on all of those great 89s that we just talked about. As far as building the 89s, again, this is all kind of speculation, but one would assume that it's going to require five 86 OVR cards. Three of those 86s needing to be team builders from that specific division, and then two more 86s from any other promo if we kind of file or foul exactly what happened with the 85 overall champions. The lower overall heroes were 82s. So that's my assumption on those. And then to get the 86s, it's going to be a combination of older cards or cards from any promo. For this one, honestly, I really do not know what to expect. I could see like maybe three 83 to 84s in two 80 to 81s or 81s to 82s, somewhere around there. Maybe only four cards it's going to require. So this I'm unsure of, but I'm sure that if you have a lot of binder trash laying around, you will be able to put together some stuff to build out the 86s. And if you are able to build enough 86s, you can turn those into an, 80, into an 89. Uh, it's the DK Metcalf card that's just going to be overly expensive. Now on to tomorrow's legend cards. The LTD is going to be a 90 overall Warren Sapp. Very good looking card. 81 speed at the defensive tackle position with 88 strength, 86 tackle, 90 finesse move, 89 block shed, 85 power move, 87 play rec. Going to be a pretty expensive card. Remember, tomorrow we have the MCS event, that the tournament to get into the live event. So a lot of those pro players, they're not going to move the market that much, but they're going to be going after all of the top tier cards. So I think this LTD, unless the, the pack offers are really good tomorrow, is going to be a very, very expensive one. The two set legends, I think it's going to be safe to save your tokens if you haven't used them already. I know me personally, I have two different sets of tokens to redeem for a free legend. Now this is the first... The first weekend we're seeing 89 overall legend champions aeneas williams 88 speed cornerback he's a little bit on the shorter side there 88 man 85 zone 86 press 87 agility 87 jumping 86 play rec it's actually not a bad card at all but it's not one that i would rush to to spend my coins or my tokens on if you really need a cornerback it's probably not a bad option as like a third or a fourth corner because that height is going to be a little bit bad on the outside there, but he does give you a good combination of the 88 speed and 88 man coverage. And then the offensive champion or set legend is going to be Drew Brees, 72 speed quarterback, 88 throw power, 90, I'm sorry, 89 short throw, 89 mid, 85 deep. He will be fairly accurate, but listen, you need speed at the quarterback position, especially with like mid blitz meta and the dollar that everybody's running right now. If you need to escape the pocket, you're going to have to do it in 72 speed simply will just not cut it. So I'm not really a big fan of any of the legends outside, of course, of the Warren Sapp that's dropping tomorrow, but he's going to be overly expensive. A few other things to go over before we get out of here. I talked about it in this afternoon's No Money Spent episode. If you haven't been keeping up with that series, definitely go check it out. It shows you how I've built at this point an 86 overall No Money Spent squad. And we covered a bunch of things that if you're No Money Spent, uh, what you should be doing right now. One of them that I wanted to point out here is that this objective is finally working. So yesterday and into early this morning, you were getting stuck at 17 wins. You couldn't get to 18 wins and so forth. It is now tracking properly. I think I have like 33 wins over on my No Money Spent account. So I can 100% confirm that that is working also when it comes to the season two field pass just another reminder tomorrow is going to be the day where you can earn your second free 89 overall hispanic heritage month card so if you've been up to date on your dailies you knocked out the weekly objectives and you did all of your solo challenges you will now have enough of these upgrade tokens to upgrade your second player technically to an 88 overall but because you got that strategy item that came along with the solo challenge rewards they're going to plus one all the attributes. They go up to 89. So tomorrow morning, check your program tab here. Go down to Hispanic Heritage Dailies, and you'll
you'll have a brand new one there. Again, if you've been up to date on everything else, you knock out that new objective tomorrow, you get your second free 89 OVR, and those cars have been really good. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to that promo, we put out an entire video breaking it down. If you're new to the game, great place to start to get some really good free and usable cards. So just keep up on these dailies, because if you don't do this one, or if you didn't do another one, they expire, they're gone forever. They don't hang around, so you don't want to miss out on those free upgrade tokens. Just an update with the head-to-head -head ranked mode. Yes, it's still down. If you try to go into it and get the restricted message, it's not just you. It's happening to everybody. And being that it's Friday night right now with the weekend upcoming here, I honestly wouldn't really expect it to be available this weekend either. I don't know if they're going to adjust the time available on this one or maybe change the ranking because we're missing so many days and it's only a 30-day window. Hopefully by Monday we see it fixed there, but I did just want to give you guys that update. And then one other thing, Mutt Leaks has just been going absolutely crazy this entire year. They leaked out the Part 2 two cards for Gridiron Guardians. These are the champions. 89 OVRs. We got Scary Terry McLaurin, Jair Alexander. So a nice combination of wide receiver and cornerback that should have some good speed. We're finally getting a high end right guard. I know I'm still rocking an 84 overall at that position. 89 overall Kevin Zeitler. We have an 89 overall Eric Kendricks and an 89 overall Eric Armstead. There is also the potential chance that we might see a champion or I'm sorry, an LTD Vita Vea because Mutt Leaks did leak out some pack images and we saw Eric Kendricks and Vita Vea on those packs. So either he's going to get an 86 or he's going to get a 90 overall LTD. We'll have to wait and see. But that's all I got for now. I will not be around early tomorrow morning. So when the new content drops in game, we probably won't have a video right away. But if there is a potential to earn a free 86 overall team builder card, we will absolutely be dropping a video going over the best one to take. We'll also take a look at the market and see if there's any cards worth buying right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.